Governor Charlie Baker thanked manufacturers who have stepped up during the pandemic to bring supplies to first responders. One of them, a former upholstery factory, now able to make hospital gowns. Boston 25 News reporter Bob Ward shows us how it all began with one machine. This whole factory machine in Franklin has stood idle for four years, ever since this whole factory went out of business. But this machine could soon be roaring back to life for the fight against coronavirus. For more than a century, the Clark Cutler McDermott factory stood in the center of Franklin, most recently producing upholstery for the auto industry. But in 2016, the factory shut down. Now, four years later, this old die cutter machine, disconnected but still operable, could soon be back at work, this time producing PPE, specifically gowns for hospital staff and first responders. This has all come together in exactly in the last 10 days. Franklin Town Council Chair Thomas Mercer tells me a former Clark Cutler McDermott engineer who now lives in Michigan remembered this machine's capabilities and reached out with an idea to use the machine to help make PPE medical gowns. And the numbers suggest this one machine can make a lot of gowns. Once this is up and running, they think they can produce uh, 100,000 a week. Within days of that call, the out-of-state partners met with Mercer and State Representative Jeffrey Roy at the Franklin plant to see for themselves the machine that could help save lives. Everybody we have reached out to in this process has been supportive and has said, okay, what do I need to do? So now this project is rapidly moving forward. The initial gowns would go to nearby Milford Hospital, where Representative Roy recently delivered rain ponchos because the supply of PPE gowns was so low. Hopefully getting this factory up uh, just 10 miles away, uh, we can uh, fulfill their need uh, for PPE and get those gowns uh, throughout uh, Massachusetts and Rhode Island. There are still some details that need to be worked out, but if everything falls into place, this machine could be up and running by next week. In Franklin, I'm Bob Ward, Boston 25 News.